Are you a desperate, lonely cuck who can't get any female interaction in real life, so you resort to throwing your hard-earned money away at some random chicks on the internet? Or, in other words, do you watch female streamers on Twitch? Well, then this one is going to hit a little bit close to home. This is Honeycam Studio. This is a game that just came out that's all about profiting off of the aforementioned desperate lonely cucks we just talked about as you grow your cam girl empire into a well-oiled machine. Except that machine, it don't use no oil. It's using something else to keep them cogs nice and lubed, if you know, if you know what I'm saying. Hmm. Naturally, you get to pick one of three starter Pokemon at the beginning, and as with all the other Pokemon games, I also always go with the uh, huge tits and glasses type. I already got plans to catch my champ and have him be my uh, teen slash fit type anyway. Skip the tutorial because that's some baby shit and start putting your girls on the front lines, racking in some mad dosh. You'll eventually need to start recruiting more girls though. I mean, after all, the more the merrier. Uh, this one looks pretty good to me. Zoe is an insufferable millennial who tries a little too hard to be unique. She sexually identifies as a cybernetic android. Yes, please. You know, it's a lot like Thomas Jefferson, one of the greatest economic philosophers in the history of mankind said, double the hose, double the money. Sarah is an unbearable weeaboo who thinks she's Japanese and calls herself Suki. She's the worst, but she's still kind of hot in that weird way. Wow, a character that I can relate to. Welcome to the team. Hell yeah. You see, now we're making some big boy bucks. I am like the the John D. Rockefeller of cam girls, okay? The the Andrew Carnegie of sluts. I mean, just just look at the money right now. There is absolutely nowhere to go but up. I mean, I think it's kind of over right now. We are just just uh fuck. Unsurprisingly, these girls smoke like a bunch of fucking chimneys and drink like a bunch of I don't know, insert analogy here. The best thing to do about this is to get yourself a girl whose sole purpose in life is to go grocery shopping for booze and cancer sticks 24-7. You can even get yourself a nice little shopping basket that lets her get more while she's out. This is an advanced honey cam technique that I like to call the fetch bitch. Your other bitches want something, this one goes and fetches it for them. It's the perfect strategy. So by this point in the video, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is the objective of this game exactly? And the answer is to get more fans. Everything revolves around getting a bigger fan base. Why do you make money? To buy more fans. Why do you force your girls to fart on cakes? Yeah, that's a thing that people are actually into. I was surprised too. To get more fans. That's all that matters in this world. One of the best fan bases to target in this game is the furries. Because if history has taught us anything, it's that furries will buy whatever you want, so long as it panders to them. Because of that, you already know I gave every single one of my girls a pair of cat girl ears for optimal furry fan growth. I mean, I know what the people want. Speaking of which, I also ended up giving a bunch of my girls gallons upon gallons of water for all of those sick freaks out there who are into, um, uh, water sports. I'm, uh, still on the lookout for a, uh, whale lord. I, I want him to be my, uh, designated water sports guy for this playthrough. Alright, now this right here is what I like to call the Black Friday strategy. This is where you take every single one of your girls, each of which makes tens of thousands of dollars per hour while streaming, and you send them to go buy drinks and smokes instead. Sure, sacrificing those few hours means you're losing on what most people would make in a year, but, I mean, hey man, smoking and drinking's important too. We are now at the point in the game where we are making literally millions of dollars per day. I mean, I knew being a girl on the internet was profitable, but Jesus Christ, man, I, I never knew it could get to this extent. You know, I gotta admit, this game is kind of making me rethink my entire career. I mean, like, if I started hormones, like, right now, I could totally become an e-girl that a bunch of desperate lonely cucks throw money at on stream. I mean, you would have to be mentally ill not to want that. Anyway, bada boom, bada bing, you get the diamond dong trophy of excellency, the greatest possible achievement and mankind, GG honey cam, no re. So that was basically the entire game, and it was it, it was pretty fun, you know? I, I gotta take some points off for the fact that it no longer looks like one of my Japanese animes, but it was still pretty fun. I feel like I've learned a lot about the world of cam girling and slutting myself on the internet in general, and I'm gonna put that knowledge to good use. I'm off to go see a psychiatrist about officially becoming a girl, so thanks for watching, and when I'm back, be ready to donate, boys. Uh, wiggle my booty. Oh no. You've been hella busy with the exams. Have they gone okay? Alright. Can I roll the dice? Four senses. Actually, let's put you on the board first. Whee! Senses. 33. Because <laughs>